welcome back to the Paramedic Project. Thanks for joining us once again. Today, I want to talk a little bit more about IV access, in particular, talk about different sites for IV cannulation. So let's get right to it. First big points we want to talk about are we want to discuss the ACF, the anticubital fossa, a little bit more, and then I will share with you some alternative sites that I like to use uh, for gaining IV access when we can't get that, or uh, or different times when that's probably not the best site to actually use anyway. So let's talk about the ACF for starters. So first of all, the ACF, we know that we've got some great big vessels that run through there. Big positives of the ACF, they're big vessels. Second of all, they're in pretty predictable locations. You know, we've got that one vessel that runs diagonally across the joint, and we've got one big one that stays quite, uh, quite lateral as well. So they're predictable. Thirdly, because of all the connective tissue around this joint, uh, those, vessels are, those vessels are actually quite stable. They're a lot easier to secure than, than ones that are often on the back of people's hands so they don't snake around as much when we're trying to actually cannulate them. So they're the positives of the ACF. Let's talk about the negatives of the ACF. I've mentioned it's over a big joint. That's pretty obvious. And the downside of that is that the patient bends their arm to really difficult to access. The patient bends their arm it often occludes that if we do have a fluid line, for example, running off this ACF and the patient bends their arm, it will often occlude. So that's the downside. And then, of course, if they get some type of tonic seizure activity or some decorticate posturing, then that's going to prohibit us from accessing that cannula. And it's also going to occlude the cannula if there are drugs running through it. So they're the big downsides to that. Uh, so yes, it's great to be able to get IV access at that site but we need to have other ones we're really confident at, and that means we need to practice getting uh, IV access at different sites. So let's move on from the ACF, let's go down. Now this is my sort of go-to area. I much prefer cannulas on the back of people's hands or in their forearms, because it's not across a joint, and it's a lot easier to access. Now if you think about a patient in the back of an ambulance, often, at least where I work, uh, if they're in the back of an ambulance, you are positioned on the right-hand side of the patient, so that right arm is the one that's easy to access. If you've got a cannula in the left ACF, uh, it's often quite difficult to access. You need to reach across the patient, get quite intimate with the patient to even get anywhere near it. So that can be a difficult place if you've got a cannula there, so it's much better to go for the right ACF if you are going to go for the ACF. Uh, but saying that, if you have got a cannula in the back of their left hand, then that left hand can come across the patient's body really, 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 really easily towards the attendant seat, and uh, that means that it's going to be much easier to access even if they're in the back of the ambulance. Uh, so that's the first thing. Uh, second thing with uh, our upper limbs, often people have a great vein in the back of their forearm here and uh, that might be a little bit obscure. If the patient is in handcuffs, uh, that can be a vessel that's really, really easy to access. And we do have to treat people in handcuffs from time to time. So that's a good one just to store in the back of your mind. Uh, if you do go to someone that uh, police service where you work has restrained and you need to get uh, access on them, Back of the forearm is a great place to look. Thirdly, I'd like to talk about the lower limbs a little bit more. And most people have a great vessel over this anterior medial kind of area, over that medial ankle bone called the uh, over medial malleolus. So a big vessel that runs over the medial malleolus. Especially kids, kids often have a great vessel here. So that's a great place to look. If you can't get access in our upper limbs anywhere, or if a patient's got bilateral limb injuries in their upper limbs, might have to go down towards vessels in our feet, especially over that medial malleolus bone, and also just in the, uh, in the tops of the feet as well, I find there are often some great vessels there. Now, I've mentioned kids, but also the patients in the back of the ambulance, and they're loaded on the stretcher, they're really easy to access. You can have the back doors of the ambulance open, and, uh, and then they're kind of at chest height, and uh, it's sort of like you've got feet on a workbench there that are really easy to access. So that's a great thing to keep in the back of your mind. We don't always have to go on the ACF, we don't always have to go on the back of the hand, we just need access of some sort and any access is better than no access at all. Hope that's been helpful, Paramedic Project. Alternative sites for IV access and also pros and cons of the ACF. Find us on social media, we'll see you next time.